here we go, let's give it a go. I'm probably way premature coming into this area just now. Plus I've got a lot of souls on me, I don't want to lose them all. But anyway, let's just go for it. Let's not waste any time. Oh, ain't she so pretty? Ain't she pretty? I've defeated this boss a few times, actually. Get out of the way, dudes. Right, so we'll um, stuck our bow and arrow on just now. See what kind of damage we're... He's doing not bad damage to it. Wow, he's really taking it out. That helps a lot. Wow, this guy's doing most of the work for us. Uh, that's so nice when that happens. So yeah, we'll just look. <laughs> oh shit, I think I've got fucking the wrong arrows on. Oh, bloody well dead. Oh well, that's that. Nice, okay, that's that then. So I think, yeah, I think we'll be ringing the bell in this episode, guys. Dear, dear. Didn't think that was going to be so easy. Just shows you guys, uh, summoning is, makes a big difference in this game, being able to summon someone to help you. A big, big difference. Wow, look how many souls I have as well. Okay, so here's the bell. Let's... Ring my bell, ring my bell, ding ding. So yeah, I think I said in one of the episodes previously, a long time ago, that, you know, that's that gate open now, but I'm pretty sure this is the gate opening now, once you've unlocked the, the you know, rung the two bells, this is the gate opening now, um, to Sen's Fortress, which is an absolute pain in the arse area, like, you wouldn't believe, but there's a nice weapon in there, and your first mimic, so I'm looking forward to uh, going in there. It's not as bad as Blight Town, but again, Blight Town wasn't that difficult because we just rushed it. Okay, okay. Okay, so there's an illusionary wall down here, guys. Um, I'll just quickly show you it. Pretty sure this is it here. Yep. And be careful, this is not an enemy. I attacked him in my first playthrough and he died. And that was that, so yeah, but no, you can talk to this gentleman. Uh, yeah, sure. Eggs. But you have no eggs. Ah, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. And pray that you will mind your manners. I'll certainly try. I'm pretty sure this dude is a merchant as well. Um, the thing he's talking about, you have no eggs. If you destroy one of his friends there, they're out here. Some of them do attack you out there. The ones that were before uh, Quailog don't attack you. And, um... Basically, yeah, uh, they're um, they're uh, quite the um, you get the the put an, an infestation in you, which uh, gets you uh, gets you a a bloody egg for a head. You look it up. I'm not gonna do it, but if you look it up, guys, um, you'll find videos about it and stuff. So yeah, you can talk to this from here and here, and this is another covenant. She only talks to you if you took a certain ring at the start, one of the gifts, before you started the game. If you have a ring, you'll get a, a little dialogue with her, but it's pretty pointless, so... 
Again, she's another one that can reinforce your flask. I'm not going to enter the covenant. Um, because it's pretty pointless, so... Just, I don't know what you get out of it. Again, I can't remember. I think you get a spell, a certain spell, once you give her so much humanity. In fact, does she give you... She gives you the Great Chaos Fireball, I think, which is quite powerful, so I think we'll all, um... I think we'll try that. Yeah, let's see if it does give us it. Because I don't want to miss, make, like, let you guys miss out in case it is there. Yeah, 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 there it is. The, uh, the Great Chaos Fireball. It's quite a not bad spell. Quite a powerful fireball. Um, and yeah, there's another, um, another bonfire out here. This is the one I was talking about. Uh, we just head down. And yeah, there's a bonfire right here. So yeah, there's those dudes there. They can give you that egg infection. And it's quite annoying. You want to be careful. Some of them will attack. Some of them won't. And this is uh, the next bonfire you can light at as well. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll quickly level up while I'm here. No, I want to keep... I want to up my gloves. So I think I'll do that. Kick some of these guys off the edge. I love doing that. Oh no, I never meant to do that. Oh, bugger. Let's just get away from them. Yeah, if you kill them, they drop out these maggots, and the maggots are the things that infect you, I'm sure. But yeah, down that way is the demon ruins, and also there's a boss down there you need to take out so you can get near the demon ruins. The boss is actually pretty easy to defeat, um, I'll show you how to do it on the next episode. But yeah, I want to just uh, level up my uh, arm here. There we go, see he can modify your pyromancy flame as well, so let's just uh, get that leveled right up while we have the souls. There we go, so yeah, we're only one level off that now. Probably do a bit of farming to get that up to 10. Probably should have leveled up, but never mind. Doesn't matter. I'm progressing quite fast without leveling up, so I need to be careful to keep my level, you know, at the same level as um, the game. You don't want to uh, jump behind in that. But yeah, basically I'll show you how to get to the boss in the ne this one uh, just now, because I have a few minutes left. The cutoff for the last episode was probably a bit awkward because of the way I was invaded and had a couple of invasions there. But yeah, that's us. Uh, you want to go down this way. And you can see the boss from here. If you have a look, I don't want to stop here too long. Get hit. You can see over there, you know, those tentacles that are flailing. That's the boss. You can see all that lava's there, so you can't move in that direction just now. But if you take the boss out, all that lava disappears and the demon runes become available to you. You're going to watch out because there's Capra demons everywhere down there, though. But yeah, let's um, make our way down. There's a fire ember down there as well. You can see them standing in the lava already. If you have a look down there, I'll show you. Um, you can see them down there. But yeah, want to just be careful of them. Uh, they won't attack you just now, I don't think. Cause, um, they can walk through lava though, so you want to be careful. But you want to go round this way. Oh, shit, I've went the wrong way. It's up this way. Okay, yeah, up this way towards the boss. Yeah, I've totally went the wrong way. That's just basically a dead end. Silly me. Yeah, it's up this way. Fuck, I completely went the fucking wrong way. Up and round this way, folks. Up and round this way. I didn't level up my weapon. You're probably asking, you know, why, why have you not went and leveled up your weapon a lot more, or your shield, or so, so on and so forth. I just, I didn't want to um, level up when I know I'm going to Sin's Fortress to get a weapon that I will use, that I like. So, yeah. The Lightning Spear. So. so, yeah, here it is, the boss. And there's an easy way to kill it. And in the next episode, I'll show you that, guys. So, yeah, we'll wrap it up here. And on the next one, there's some nice armour in here as well, uh, and uh, a boss to kill, which is quite easy once you know how, um, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, 
probably a bitch way to do it, but anyway, that's the way I'm going to do it, because it's fucking impossible to kill him if, unless you do it that way. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.